Welcome and greetings and welcome to Blockhouse Yoga. My name is Alex and I am flying solo today uh, without Tracy. Uh, we've decided to divide um, the videos for this month of April. Uh, we're focusing basically on the pranayama and I'm going to talk a little bit today about ujjayi breath. But first we'll just address pranayama and its meanings and its meaning and it can be broken down actually into two parts, prana meaning life force, vitality, loosely translated as that which is everywhere, which prana in fact is that life force that's contained in our breath, the air outside, the water we drink, um, and ayama, which is extension um, or to stretch. So it's bringing in that life force to our breath and bringing it into us and extending and expanding with, with our breath. So what I'd love to do um, is discuss ujjayi and the power of breathing in general and breathing in the life force. So the idea with the inhalation is that you're bringing in the vitality into your body, but there's also this beautiful exchange of letting go of and ridding yourself of what you no longer need. So it's this beautiful dance and exchange, which helps to keep things balanced. If you've been doing my flow classes for many years, or if you're even just new to yoga or new to any of my classes and potentially Tracy's as well, because I'm certain she probably uses ujjayi breath too. Um, you've probably heard me refer to sounding breath, ujjayi breath, um, which are the same thing. And it's that audible breath that we can use to link our breath to our movement and to enrich it and nourish it and bring the prana into the sensation as we're, as we're breathing in. Um, it's also linking the breath to the mind and allowing your mind to settle on the breath and become more meditative. Um, so it's just a helpful, great little trick and practice that you can use. I often refer to it as the secret sauce uh, to any really good yoga practice, any kind of breathing really. Um, it's really what makes simply just stretching or exercise, it transforms it uh, into an actual deep and rich practice that is also obviously the physical benefits of the practice, but it brings in a meditative and more spiritual um, aspect to doing yoga, which gives it such a rich and beautiful um, experience for those who are practicing. So I'm going to attempt to explain ujjayi breath. It's one of those things you know when you get it right, you can feel it, and I'm gonna do my best to put it into words, and maybe together in this video we can breathe together, and uh, I'll walk you through some of the steps to how to achieve a nice, balanced sounding breath that will hopefully uh, deepen your practice. So without any further ado, I always say that, but without any further ado, we will start. Um, I'd like you to just begin, I'm gonna sit comfortably with my legs folded, but you can be doing ujjayi breath really in any position. I'm just sitting um, in basic seated pose on a bolster. And I want you to just relax your face and uh, you can either close your eyes or keep them open. And just start with a very simple inhalation and exhalation, but I want you to begin with a breathing in through your nose. So just a deep breath in through the nose. and then exhaling out through your mouth and keep your mouth open on that exhalation. So it's gonna, you're gonna release almost a ha sound when you let go. And I'm hoping with this clip on mic, you'll be able to pick up some of the sounds of my breath as you're breathing as well. We can sound this breath together. So let's do a couple more, just a deep breath in through the nose. And again. Coming to the top of that breath, exhaling out through the mouth, mouth open. Very good. And then now I'd like you to lift your hand up and I want you to, I'm gonna just turn a little bit to the side. So your hand's just in front of your mouth and I want you to realize when you're exhaling out, you're gonna feel a little bit of steam coming into the hand. So you'll know that that breath is coming out. So let's do one more in and out with that inhalation through the nose. Exhale out. So you can really feel that exhalation into the hand. And then we can drop our hand down now. And then the next breath in, what I want you to do, same as what we've been just doing now, but breathing in through the nose. And as you exhale, partway through that exhalation, as the breath's coming out of the mouth, I want you to slowly close your mouth. So you're gonna be closing and connecting the lips partway through. So let's do it again together with a breath in. Still hearing that sound at the back of your throat. 
So it's a contraction at the throat, at the back of the throat, feeling that sound, almost like a hissing sound that comes out from the back of the throat. And we're going to relax the jaw a little bit. I often tell people when they're starting with the Zujjayi breath, as you're breathing in, it's sometimes helpful to have the very tip of your tongue just pressing to the very um, back top part of your teeth. So just let it rest there gently and immediately you'll notice the jaw relaxing. Even though the back of the throat is constricting slightly to create that sound, you're keeping that jaw relaxed. So let's do this together with the mouth closed. And I'm hoping that mic picks up the sound at the back of my throat. So we're allowing that breath to swirl around a little bit at the back of our throat and really taking it in. So a couple more in and out. And you can make them long and open. So we're coming all the way deeply into the very top of the breath and a long external exhalation and expansion on that exhalation. Letting that sound out, keeping the jaw relaxed and feeling that slight constriction at the back of the throat that creates that sound. But you can practice for a little while still with that hand in front of the mouth. When you feel you've got that rhythm and that sound going, just slowly try and close your mouth partway through that exhalation and it allows for you to keep with that sound and the flow of the breath. And it almost becomes an internal sound that you connect with which will internally bring that breath deeper into the posture and the sensation you're feeling, nourishing and deepening it, and also allowing it to be part of your internal meditation as you bring this into your practice. I hope you found that helpful. Um, I do uh, hope to see you on the mat, either in the studio here at blockhouseyoga.com uh, or online. And uh, I look forward to seeing you, and please bring that beautiful breath. Thank you. Namaste. And have a beautiful day.